Hello everybody, it's uh, Jerry Claiborne, just heading off to uh, Eye Doctor. I bought these new glasses, um, uh, they're kind of cool for certain people. Uh, they're called uh, Meta Glasses and they're uh, basically uh, glasses that have a built-in camera and all kinds of stuff. Um, very interesting concept and of course the meta part is with our friends at Facebook uh, wish that wasn't the case but it is and um, it has some intelligence to it uh, bear with me here as I get out on the highway but uh, I would say that if you're using them uh, and what I want to use them for was the fact that I could be able to take a one minute video I could take pictures with these glasses all you got to do is tap over here you hold it down for the video uh, or you turn around and do the um, uh, picture with just a quick uh, push the button and it's really cool for that because I do some of the social stuff I do different things uh, some of you may know or most of you probably know uh, the wife and I run a, uh, a specialty coffee company called Beach Run Java and uh, we do some stuff with that and I thought these glasses would be effective and also they're fairly stylish they're Ray-Ban um, pretty comp wayfarers I think is what they're referred to so let me get on to the subject <laughs> the subject is today um, something that you know I, I sometimes think in our business or anybody's business for that matter I mean I've I've done a bunch of different things and sometimes we just go out there and start doing shit and we really don't have a, a game plan in mind and uh, we just kind of stumble and fumble around until we figure out what the heck we're doing uh, and that is the case many times with a, uh, a settlement process and I, I call it a process because these are not things that are done uh, super quickly it's amazing to me and I, I'm not trying to bust people's you know what's on this but I have to be honest with you agents have a tendency of calling um, calling and saying well what can you do with this I, I you know he's gonna convert the policy or uh, you know can you find a buyer for this and the thing is is that yeah you can find a buyer but don't give me 20 days to figure it out uh, this business does not operate Maybe we've gotten used to that sort of stuff, but this is not a buy and sell. We're not going to eBay here, okay? And there's a lot of, of um, things that need to be done. And my point of this whole conversation today, and I'm gonna end this fairly quick, what is your life settlement process? What is the process that you do when a client comes to you and he says, I've got this life insurance, and 95% of them say, I can't afford the premiums anymore. This is a problem. And as we go through in, in this business and after 22 years of, of being in this and seeing different things, and I've seen a lot, uh, I'd say the biggest problem that people have is that, first off, they don't really understand that this does to do it properly. Hey, any asshole can do this business. They can't. Anybody can do it, but you know what? If you don't know what you're doing, you're a sucker. And there's a lot of folks out there that will take advantage of your inexperience and not understanding how to maximize the return. And we're not talking about losing a grand here. In many cases, I mean, I've seen cases where people are trying to buy policies, and I'm not naming names, but they try to buy a policy for you know, two or three times or four times above cash value, okay, which happened to be 2,500 bucks, okay, and the policy was worth, you know, 120K instead of the 15 it was offered. And I use that because that's the biggest one that I think of. There are others, okay, and the other ones are not quite as uh, devastating, okay. But the insured needs to understand that you know these things take a little bit of time agents need to understand they take a little bit of time and uh, the money and, and marrying of the buyer and the seller uh, is not as simple as going to uh, Amazon and buying something online this is not a, um, a static physical product uh, 
it is something, excuse me, I've got a mosey over here. It is not a, um, a static product. These are assets, but you really don't touch them and feel them. It's not like buying a car. I'm sorry about the shake, but uh, the road's always a little rough here in South Florida. They, uh, these guys uh, never fix them. But uh, uh, my whole point of this is, is that if you don't have a process, make sure you work with somebody who does and who understands this business. Hey, I don't know how to, um, to, to do a life insurance policy. You know, I depended on the carriers to do it. And I think a lot of agents think that this business is kind of set up like that. And it really isn't. Uh, there's so many things, that uh, uh, variables uh, that can impact this uh, offer. Uh, and as this market changes, and no one believes me, but I think that the economy is going to sour. Uh, you got a lot of real estate out there and things, that, commercial real estate that has gone vacant. You got a lot of small banks that are going to be on the hook for uh, these defaults. And uh, this is tremendous amount of pressure. I've re read numbers around a trillion dollars in default pending. So uh, that is not a small number. Uh, even if we are at 34 plus trillion in deficit. Now you're saying, how does this impact settlement business? Well, I can only tell you in 2008 when everything hit the fan, uh, like it did for many, many people, real estate and, and life settlements were no different. You could not find buyers. You had great policies. I mean, during the time frame 2010, I probably looked at $4 billion worth of paper. You know what? You no know, buyers. I mean, some of it was good, but they were trying to buy paper that was ultra uh, premium stuff. Three and a half years life expectancies, and those do not grow on trees. And if you do this business correctly and, and not have issues and problems, you'll discover that this is a, a business that depends on those life expectancies, no matter what the heck we're talking about here. Uh, that paper, uh, or those underwritings are things that we can't control. I, I just had a discussion with my uh, associate about it this morning and, and agents say, well, that person's not gonna live for X number of years. And, you know, we agree with you. There's only one problem. It doesn't matter what we think. The paper is, uh, is what they use as the guiding light for the business. And when we talk about underwriting, Medical underwriting in this trade is handled by a number of companies. It does vary a little bit, but you gotta look for it. If you don't know what you're looking for, you're not gonna find that lower number. If you're a buyer, and in this case a direct buyer, they wanna buy it as cheaply as possible because remember, they do not work for the benefit of you as an agent or you uh, uh, for your client because they're just not interested in buying paper and pricing it over market. Now, I have had cases where uh, groups, you, you put that leverage on them, uh, they'll come around. Uh, but you need that leverage. And guys, uh, I've gone way longer than I thought I would on this little tour of uh, West Fort Lauderdale. I'm on, uh, people who know this area, I'm on Oakland Park near the Turnpike. So, uh, traffic gets a little congested all hours of the day. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. On Monday but guys I appreciate everything uh, I hope you have a wonderful 2024 uh, please subscribe please like the video I'm trying to do more videos uh, time is always in essence and it's really not doing them it's the editing and trying to get them out to the market so they don't look stupid so again appreciate everything and uh, hope to talk to you uh, if you have some interest in working with me. So, please take care guys. Bye bye now. You're supposed to stop. You didn't stop. Why didn't you stop? Let me hit the button again.